Hello and welcome back to Diecast Chop Shop. Today we're gonna do some nickel electroplating. Right here we've got some nickel electrolyte solution. It's nice and green. These parts have been sandblasted with a cheap sandblaster from Harbor Freight. It helps get the material all even and makes for the rest of your steps to be a lot easier and go a lot smoother. After the sandblasting, I went ahead and wire wheeled these. I only spent a few minutes on each piece, just kind of getting it to a nice even texture followed by some 400 then 600 grit sandpaper and here you can see what it looked like after I hit it with the 600 grit sandpaper notable scratches but the metal is even it's clean there's no pits in it that's really what you're looking for you want a nice smooth material I hit the truck hood and truck body with various steps of sandpaper working up to 12,000 grit. I left the other hood at 600 grit just for a comparison of the final product. So you can see what the difference is between 600 grit and 12,000 grit. I haven't actually polished either of these yet. This is just sandpaper. Just getting the material nice and smooth and ready for the polish. Here's the truck body, also at 12,000 grit. It's already looking real shiny, real reflective. I think these things are ready for some polish. Now at this step, I've polished half of each item. So you can compare the sanded portion to the polished portion. Here we have the Porsche hood. You can see that on the polished side, you can still see the deep scratches, but it pulled out all those minor scratches that the sandpaper left. On the 12,000 grit hood, it's looking a lot better. I'm starting to get that mirrored finish I want. And here's the truck, also half polished. You can tell the difference pretty significantly but the sandpaper did a really good job. Now here's after I finished polishing the truck and you can notice in the reflection that one half has a more crystal image than the other half. The side with the more crystal image, I didn't apply as much pressure when polishing it with the buffing wheel and as a result it didn't heat up as much and the buffing wheel didn't remove as much material so it gave a nicer finish when it comes to putting the parts in the nickel solution the important thing to do is to make sure you wash your parts with mineral spirits so that they're nice and clean and then rinse them off with water so you don't contaminate your nickel solution you're going to want to have your nickel anode hooked up to the positive end and your part is going to be the cathode hooked up to the negative end of your power source. If you see bubbles forming, assume it's working. This is the Porsche hood before it goes into the nickel solution. Here's the Silverado hood after it came out of the solution. You can see the streaks on it from the bubbles coming up and rising to the top. I'm gonna have to sand and buff that out. Now that everything's finished, we can start by looking at the hood. You'll notice the big horseshoe where the alligator clip was hooked up to and none of the nickel solution ended up under it. So that lip 
is the thickness of the nickel. Now on the front and the back of the hood you'll notice a slight color difference. That's where I sanded and polished through it when I was trying to make that nickel nice and shiny. Same with on the Porsche hood, but I left it in the nickel solution a much shorter time. You can see where the alligator clip was, and you can see at the edges where I sanded through the nickel finish. And finally, here's the truck body, still at the 12,000 grit with just a polish. And in my opinion, it looks as good as my nickel finish. So I think I'm just gonna leave this as a polished body for another project. Like and subscribe for future videos. And if there's anything you'd like to see, leave them in the comments below.